but space isn't going to be a problem for me. Out here in Gran Canaria, I've got mountains of it. They did view and fall for a thinker last year, but then discovered that the necessary paperwork to make it legal hadn't been done, so sensibly they decided not to go ahead. Lenglez. I've asked him to look into the specifics of the house I've just seen and to get me up to speed about the pitfalls of buying property out here. So why don't you run me through exactly what your requirements are? Adrian and David are trying to decide between buying a new home on the south coast of England and staying close to family or fulfilling a long-held dream of starting a new life on the beautiful island of Gran Canaria. Both your faces fell. I'm oh, oh, no. sorry. Well, the colour <laughs> scheme's all a bit. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it's over there. You liked yellow and orange and green. Yeah, yeah, but not on one cupboard door. <laughs> <laughs> so, they love the location of this place, but it would appear that size is a problem. If living space is their main priority, though, I'm hoping they're going to love the next one I've lined up. The house is great, <laughs> it's just in the wrong location. Oh, look at the view. There was a moment where I thought these guys aren't going to be satisfied with anything I can show them. And I'm actually quite surprised that they like this as much as they do because there are still a few compromises, but incredibly relieved. The big question now is, are they going to take the plunge and fulfil their dream? Adrian and David are looking for a new home together. They quite liked a bungalow Johnny showed them in New Haven, but I'm convinced I found their dream property here in Gran Canaria. But are they brave enough to go for it?